more on the Patriots' big splash to start free agency. You could say that they showed up ready to report to active duty because that's what they've been. Crazy active. Just take a look at the additions from today alone. Quite a spending spree, Will. You heard us talk about Jonu Smith, that four-year $50 million deal with $31 million guaranteed. On the defensive side, New England signed former Raven Matt Judon to a four-year deal worth $56 million with $32 million guaranteed. Bill Belichick also adding defensive back Jalen Mills from the Eagles and Devon Godshaw from the Dolphins. We have mentioned Adam Schefter numerous times. Let's actually see his face. We bring in Adam Schefter and Lewis Riddick joining us right now. Adam, what more can you tell us about this aggressive approach coming out of New England? Well, obviously very unpatriot-like. They spent more money in the first few hours of free agency today than they have in any other year of free agency. But this was a team that recognized that it had specific needs and holes to address. The tight end position, pass rush with Matthew Judon, the interior part of the defensive line, the secondary. And by the way, I don't think they're done spending money just yet. I think they're continuing to be in the market looking for other players they could bring to New England. But this is a franchise, a proud franchise, that didn't make the playoffs last year and went out today and seemingly paid for it in a literal way. You see all the money that the Patriots handed out today. This doesn't include the trade that they made last week that will become official on Wednesday for Trent Brown, who's coming back to New England as well. That's five players that the Patriots have added and, again, don't think they're done yet. And that also doesn't include re-signing Cam Newton as well. So the Patriots have been very active. I want to reiterate what Schefter just said, Lewis. They spent more money today than they had in free agency in the last 10 years. What message is Bill Belichick sending to the rest of the league today? Yeah, the message he's sending, Al, is this, is that I don't ever want to go through another season like 2020 ever, ever again, which I, I can tell you firsthand from talking to him in the production meetings for Monday Night Football, that was about as frustrated as I have ever heard Bill as far as not being able to get out of his football team what he's used to getting out of it, which is just top quality performance and execution week after week after week. He wouldn't have had that run of success that he's had if it wasn't for that. So he identified the areas that he needed to make sure he took care of his football team. And that is start it on the inside out and build it front to back. Take care of the lines, second level defense, second level offense, and then the people out on the perimeter. He got Trent Brown back. Trent Brown is going to play his best football for New England, I promise you. He signs Cam Newton back because he needed to have a quarterback in the fold, and then we'll see what happens here in the draft. He needed the fortified run defense. He got Davin Godshaw. He needed more pass rush, and he needed more studs on the perimeter. What does he do? He goes out and signs Matt Judon. I mean, this right here, this is Bill 101, and then – you know, really, John o. Smith at this point may be the actual crown jewel of his free agency so far because what has Bill been known for? Bill popularized the modern-day tight end and how they're used, and he's not done yet, not by a long shot. A former Raider now, Shefty also reporting another two-year $26 million contract. That is Nelson Aguilar moving from Vegas to New England. Of course. So the Patriots continue to add weapons on the offensive side, a key receiver. Aguilar had a breakout season in Vegas with the Raiders, his only season there. Marcus is here. How much better? I mean, you've seen all these moves. They spent more money today than they spent in the last 10 seasons. How much better did the Patriots get today? They got a lot better. Uh, and, and look, listen, L, like a part of it is outside of the quarterback spot, right? Like we all know in context that either Cam has to play a lot better than he played last year and, and those things will be at their disposal. But when you look at what they've done, it's what Belichick talked about. He said we exhausted everything within this window with Tom Brady to win championships. They won championships. He's re-solidified this defense with Godshaw and Jalen Mills. And, and um, obviously, um, you have a number of guys. Judon is what I'm trying to think of. You have a number of guys that are coming back from opt-out as well. So this team would be marketably better. And then John o. Smith is an unsung hero at tight end. He can play American people. He can ball. John o. Smith is can be a premier tight end in this league. And then Aguilar going and, and kind of resurrecting his career in Las Vegas under John Gruden and then recently, you know, hearing that he signed. They needed to add weapons. They needed pass catchers. They needed to address a lot of things. But they also get Dante Hightower back. 
from an opt-out. They also get Patrick Chung back from an opt-out. This was a 7-9 football team with all of those opt-outs, no offensive weapons, and Cam Newton without an offseason asked to be their starter. The New England Patriots got a lot better, and I expect them to be a better team, too. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.